going on, friends? One thing nobody ever really wants to talk about is actually crashing their Harley Davidson motorcycle. Well, any motorcycle for that fact. Now, crashing a motorcycle can be very taboo. But one thing about crashing a motorcycle is that sometimes somebody else's misfortune can actually be your own found fortune. But if you know what you're looking for and you're looking in the right places, every now and again, you can snag a really good deal on a crashed Harley Davidson motorcycle, whether you wanna use it for a parts bike to rebuild your own bike, or you simply wanna rebuild that crashed Harley Davidson from basically other salvage parts. Now, as I mentioned, crash motorcycles are a very taboo subject, and it's not something a lot of people want to talk about, and not just in the Harley-Davidson community, but in the motorcycling community as a whole. Now, maybe you crash your own bike, maybe it's tipped over, maybe you're just in the market for something different and you want a project. Buying a crashed Harley-Davidson from salvage, like from an auction, or even from a private seller, this can be very beneficial if you can find the right bike and get it for the right price. Now, if you have a current motorcycle and you're trying to repair it, you're probably finding that parts are adding up really, really quick, especially if you're buying them at retail and you're not looking around for used or salvaged parts. The issue with buying a bunch of used and salvaged parts is, is that that cost really starts to add up really, really quick. And the thing is, is by the time you get all the parts you need priced out, you might find that maybe I could just go buy a whole nother bike that's probably not likely gonna run again and use it to rebuild my current motorcycle. Guys, please don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now guys, crash Harley Davidson motorcycles, they vary widely in price, really just depending on the damage. And not just the damage, but insurance, age, mileage. There's a lot of factors that go into this, but the main thing that you really wanna be concerned about is the age, the mileage at the time of the crash, and the most important thing is what are they actually asking for this motorcycle? And there's one big thing that you really wanna be conscious of when you're looking at crashed Harley Davidsons, and we're gonna get to that a little later in the video. Now, one big plus of buying a crash motorcycle is that maybe you're in the market, you need an engine for your current bike. Sure, you can go on eBay, you find engines anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 that have been pulled from crashed motorcycles. Maybe you need a transmission. Same thing is true, anywhere from $800 to $2,000. The prices vary widely. But the one thing you're gonna find is that when you're looking for basically used parts and you go and you start trying to price these out on eBay, you're gonna notice that, well, obviously, all these parts have been pulled from other crashed motorcycles. This is how a lot of these places make their money. They go to the insurance auctions, they buy crash bikes, they strip them down, they part them out, and trust me, they're making their money back on these pretty handily. You're looking at listings, you're finding engines, transmissions, things like that on eBay, and as I mentioned, they're about 2,500 bucks. Before you go and buy that, check the salvage auctions in your area. Look and see what you could buy. You could probably buy an entire wrecked bike for exactly what they're asking for one engine. In some cases, that is very true, but you gotta remember, instead of just getting that one engine for $2,500, you might be getting a whole motorcycle for 3,500, maybe four grand. That's got the engine, transmission, a whole host of usable parts on that bike. So if you're willing to cut out the middleman and get your hands dirty, and I know it's a little scary buying something that's all rashed up and tore up, but you can save yourself a ton of money by cutting out the middleman and buying one of these bikes and stripping it down yourself. Yeah, it can be a lot of work, but honestly, taking things apart and stripping them down goes a lot faster than trying to put them back together. And so basically you're gonna strip it down to the point where, hey, you know what? I got what I needed out of it. So I've got all the usable parts. Take what you want, put it on a shelf, store it. You never know, you might need it later. You can even take these parts that you don't need or want and resell them either locally or online and even further recoup some more of your money. Now, depending on what you're wanting to do with a crashed motorcycle, if you're wanting to part the bike out, that doesn't necessarily matter a whole lot. But if you're wanting to actually rebuild this bike into something that you can ride, the major thing that you need to be conscious of in looking at this motorcycle is determining what kind of crash it was involved in. Now, obviously with any crashed Harley Davidson that's gone to a salvage auction or any kind of insurance auction, you're gonna to have to expect some carnage. You're gonna to have to expect 
rashed and damaged, broken parts, fluids everywhere. It's going to look horrible and ugly, but that's why the price is so cheap. Now, if you're deciding to rebuild a crash bike, you definitely need to be ready to expect the unexpected. And the main thing that I'm really concerned about when I'm looking at any crashed Harley-Davidson to rebuild, I'm not so worried about parting it out, but if I'm going to rebuild this bike to ride it, the thing that you want to determine is what kind of crash it was in, especially if it was in a front-end collision. A hard front-end collision, expect frame damage. That is the number one thing we really definitely want to avoid is any kind of frame damage. And that's very hard when it comes to any Harley Davidson motorcycle that's been crashed because you really don't know what you got until you start stripping it down and really getting a good look at things. But you can definitely determine a lot by looking at them at the auction. Now, a lot of times, any low side crashes, high side crashes, hopefully the bike didn't flip over. If the front end looks good, generally the back and the rest of the bike is going to be in good usable shape. Generally, when that happens, we don't really see a lot of frame damage, but definitely anything in the front end, once the forks break, they bend, all that happens, all that energy is transferred back through the frame. So that's definitely something when I'm looking for a rebuilder that I want to stay away from is any kind of front end damage. But if it looks like it's just been slid down, maybe it's been high sided, maybe the bike's even tumbled a little bit. Even then, it's still a little risky, but it's not nearly as bad as obvious front or even a rear end collision from a car. I was actually involved in an accident myself one time where I was rear ended by another motorcycle. Fortunately, we were only going about 25 30 miles an hour but the impact was enough to actually put me into a tank slapper and basically slammed me down on the ground the bike went down on the left side skidded down the road and i basically skidded down the road on my face that's why i wear a full face helmet now when it comes to rebuilding your own crash motorcycle you can rebuild these perfectly to the nines everything checks out everything looks good everything might be perfectly fine with the bike now whether this is a mental thing or there really is something wrong with the bike anytime i've been involved with a motorcycle that's been crashed that i've rebuilt and started riding it to me they just never felt exactly the same as they did before the accident now as i mentioned there could there have been something wrong with the bike maybe something very minute that was tweaked just a little bit absolutely possible but the fact that i had so many miles under my belt on that bike i knew how it handled i knew everything about it now on the flip side of that somebody that's never ridden the bike before could jump on it and ride it and say man it feels great it feels perfect great job on the rebuild but that's the difference they never really rode it that much they didn't spend enough time on it to learn it like that so definitely something to think about if you're rebuilding your own crashed bike but if you're rebuilding one that's already been crashed and you're going to be riding it for the first time after it's rebuilt, you will likely never know the difference. Unless there is something just obviously wrong, something tweaked with the frame or in the swing arm or anything like that, that you might have missed, you'll probably figure that out in pretty short order. Then you can start tracking it down from there. Now, another thing to consider with a crashed Harley Davidson is salvage titling. Some states don't do salvage titling, some states do. And you got to remember with a salvage title, if you ever do decide to get rid of the bike, it's not going to bring a whole lot of value. And it may even be hard to sell, even though it looks brand new now, it's still got that salvage title. Now, one way, I know a lot of us have done this, I don't. I know nobody out here has done this before, but you might have been involved in an accident and called a buddy with a truck and a trailer to come get it loaded up and get out of there before somebody calls the cops. And then you have to go through the accident report, do all this and that, get the insurance company involved. And then from there, that's how you kind of end up with a salvage title. Now, that's pretty much unavoidable if you're going out and buying a crash bike, because chances are they're going to come with a rebuilt title or a salvage title, just depending on whatever your state calls it. But that is another thing to definitely think about if you're wanting to get involved with a crash motorcycle to rebuild. If you're just buying one and you've got a bike that, as I mentioned, if you got it loaded up, didn't go through insurance, there's no record of the crash other than what you and whoever else came to help you, that's the only record of it, you're going to be good on getting that rebuilt and still maintaining a clean title. Is that kind of shady if you ever decide to sell the bike? Yeah. Would I recommend you be honest with them and say, yeah, this did happen. It has been rebuilt, but it's clean titled. I definitely recommend that. So guys, I want your thoughts and opinions on a crash motorcycle. Would you be interested in buying a crash Harley Davidson for a parts bike or even to rebuild it and start riding it yourself? Leave your thoughts down in the comments on that. I'm really curious what you guys think. 
But anyhow, guys, that's all I've got for you this week. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. But till next week, guys, you stay safe on the streets, ride smart, dodge those cars, and I'll catch you guys back here next week with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.